Hey everyone, this is Rito Thakur, AJ Raven, and I'm back with my reaction and review of Naruto Naruto Dust Generations anime, episode number 134. Now, in the previous episode, we saw uh, Urashiki battling Jiraiya, Naruto, Boruto, and Sasuke, and apparently Urashiki can see the future, which allows him to dodge attacks, and I'm like, I don't buy it, there has to be a catch, and Jiraiya got injured, so let's see what happens in this episode. Okay, so Urashiki is coming in for an attack. He's fast. Where's Sasuke? Okay, so Boruto's coming in. And he dodges and... Oh! <laughs> he just swats him like a fly. I'm not really sure how they're going to win this fight against Urashiki. Sasuke is still low on chakra for... Yeah. Oh! 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 Sakura's here. I wasn't expecting Sakura to be in the battle. I don't want her to fight. She can't fight Urashiki. Oh. Yeah, all of them are way too weak. <laughs> I'm going to tear off your seal in one cell swoop. What you're gonna do? I think, yeah, Sasuke needs to come in. Sasuke will come in to protect. Naruto and get injured even more. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I like. Haha. <laughs> I like that. I mean, seeing Sasuke without a lot of chakra, I'm not really a fan of it. So Rishiki is attacking everyone. Sasuke uses his sword to stop himself. Yeah, Naruto and uh, Boruto need to run out of here. Jiraiya uses a summoning, he takes Buruto and Naruto. I mean, where's the leaf security? Why isn't anyone coming here to save them or something or see what's up? Yeah, Sasuke isn't letting go, he's giving them time. Oh! What, what's Sasuke going to do? Okay, so that happened. Yeah, Jiraiya is not letting Buruto go because Buruto is going to go back and try to save Sasuke even though he doesn't know how Urashiki's uh, future seeing jutsu works. So Urashiki survives this, of course he does. So Sakura is going to come in and try to heal him, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a very weird interaction. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what Sasuke does when he wakes up, how he interacts with Sakura. Oh, he's he's going to be heavy for her. Yeah. So Boruto notices Jiraiya's wound, the blood. Is Urashiki using blood to track a person's movements? It reminds me of Hidan, but he was also able to dodge Bur in Naruto's dressing gun in the previous episode, so I'm not really sure what's happening here. Urashiki is after Sasuke. He notices that someone helped Sasuke and it's Sakura. <laughs> I don't want Sakura fighting Urashiki. She won't be able to fight him. But then again, considering how kind of weak Urashiki is, she might stand a chance. Who knows? Oh, he's here. Couldn't he just use his Byakugan to track Sakura? Oh, come on, Sakura. Uh-huh. I don't want her fighting him. I'm not really sure if it's very wise to heal a person while having your back to an opening. Yeah, she's healing him, but her back is towards the enemy, which... No. Yeah, he could have used the Byakugan, but he doesn't want to waste any strength unnecessarily. Oh, they're here. Fuck, oh, thank you. I was like, Sakura can't fight him. So they're going to test Buruto's theory about the blood. Oh, Naruto using his kunai. One of the best things that I'm liking about this current fight is that they are using ninja skills. And it's not very powerful Dragon Ball Z kind of attacks. Like, they're using ninja skills to try and take down Urashiki. Oh. Teleportation. And as far as my opinion goes, Naruto fights are always fun when they actually fight like ninjas. So Bruto's coming in with his Rasengan. Jiraiya is keeping an eye. 
Why doesn't Baruto just throw his racing gun? Oh, with the blood again? Now he can track Baruto's like movements as well? What's up with the blood? So Jiraiya's coming in with Toad Oil Bomb and... Urashiki is able to dodge all of them. Why isn't Jiraiya recognizing, recognizing the Rinnegan? What's that about? So something's happening with his blood. It's drying up. What does it mean? Okay, so Jiraiya's like, did he release heat to dry up the blood? And Ruto's like, no. Did he use wind style? They're like, no. Explain it so that I can understand too. Yeah, explain it so I can understand too. Okay, so there are three, there are three ways to dry blood. Heat. A lot of wind. Uh-huh. A longer duration of time will have just... Oh. Oh, I get it. The way he boasted about it. He's not seeing the future per se. He's time traveling. Limited time traveling. Ah, I get it. So is Naruto going to distract him so that Naruto and Buruto can work on their combined Rasengan? So that they can hit Urashiki with it? So are they going to limit his vision with the mist that's all around him? What's happening, Buruto writers? Let me know. Wait, they, they aren't working on the Rasengan? What are these kids doing? The Jogan? The Jogan is going to activate? Come on, give me something. The acid isn't really doing anything to his shoes. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. What happened? This is quite strange. It is. What's going on? The acid affected him? We got you. I told you you were inside the belly. Uh-huh. And the air in here is filled with acidic poison. Since it's, colored, since it's colorless and odorless, it's hard to detect, even if you can endure it for a little while after 10 minutes. Okay, so after 10 minutes, the poison begins to paralyze your entire body. Oh, but has it been 10? Oh! So because he has been traveling into the future, coming back, traveling again to the future again, the 10 minutes ended up moving faster for him. God! But why is he out? Why not just dissolve him or leave him in the stomach? What are you doing, Jiraiya? Why would you let him out? Oh, now they're using the combined attack. So we have Naruto's Rasengan. And Naruto's, Naruto's using his wind style. Ah. Oh, oh. That was a direct hit. And he's done. Is he down yet? Tell me he's defeated. I'm tired of this art. What the heck is Kohanamaru doing here? And where's the Leaf Ninja security? Where is it? Sakura's still healing Sasuke, which means that Urashiki isn't defeated. I really think that they need Sasuke to permanently defeat Urashiki. He's still alive, isn't he? Nothing happened to his clothes, though. Yeah, he's alive. Seal him up, Jiraiya. Seal him up. And Sakura is still healing Sasuke. It's... The sun is setting. What's up with his eyes? Where are his eyes? Oh, they're scared. The last battle, Urashiki. Oh, Jiraiya is tired too. <gasps> Transformation! Oh! So, two Genins. Let me get this straight. So, two Genins and one legendary Senin without Sasuke are going to be able to defeat a transformed Urashiki. You know what? I'm looking forward to what happens in the next episode. I will be doing a written review of this episode too, so the link to that will be down in the comment section below as soon as the review goes up on the website. Let me know what you liked about this episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that they were actually fighting like ninjas and they used their brains, they used their strategic planning and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how Urashiki is defeated and 
Until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys later.